lovelies so i'm about to share with you an asda online grocery haul it's that time again like every fortnight i tend to have a um a grocery haul if certainly if i can't get out for whatever reason um you know i've been really busy with dogs at the moment so i did an online haul uh, so i did it for asda it's just been delivered i kind of sorted it out best i can to be able to tell you kind of how much it is and everything very big shop this week although i say a big shop it was an expensive shop this time um i needed everything i needed you know when you need dishwasher tablets you need wash laundry stuff you need stuff to clean the uh the the a wash machine and the dishwasher and air fresheners and it was one of those fortnights where i kind of need a bit of everything so it really bumped the price up a bit and also i'll tell you near the end a few things that i've got as well let's start this shopping haul shall we so it was due to be delivered between 11 and 12 and i think it was here about What's the time now? It must have been here around about half 11 because it's taken me a while to sort of sort it all out. Um, I've got my coffee that Luke made me, so I'm going to drink my coffee on the go. I've written all the prices down, so I should be able to tell you straight away what everything is. Now let's get on with it. I'll turn the camera around and show you what I've got, shall I? Okay, so excuse the washing hanging up there. I've got some on the line. That was there from yesterday. It's not quite dry. Well, I might pop it outside, actually. Um, okay, so one of the first things is this parcel. Let me, let me stand up. So I haven't used this one before. Oops, it's a heavy one. Um, so this is the new one. Fights odours and stains. So it says the ultimate active clean. Um, you've got 52 washers in here. So I thought I'd try this one. I'm not loyal to any particular brand, to be honest. Although I do like Purcell. I really do like Purcell, so. And I quite like Bold as well, but um, it depends on how much it is at the time, you know. Anyway, this Purcell for that size, for 52 washes, was £8.50. So I'll go on to the Lenore that's next to it. So that Lenore Outdorable um, fragrance, 55 washes, was £3. Oh, these were all £1.60. Um, so I've got, these are the Asda brand. Spring Bloom, Cherry Blossom and Peony and Spiced Pumpkin and Plum. So we have one to always use in the bathroom and then we tend to use sort of one in the bedroom and Luke has one in his bedroom because obviously we do have the dogs come to stay and we've got our own dogs you know when we sort of make our bed and everything I do sort of go over the bed in with um, a dental disinfectant like the spray um, and then just to freshen up the air a little bit just a you know quick spray of uh, an air freshener in there just to keep it nice and fresh um, so Luke can choose whichever one he wants to have in his bedroom I reckon he'll go for possibly that one um okay um two pound fifty for this one they last forever um i've still got a tiny tiny little bit left in the one in the bathroom and i cannot tell you how long ago i actually got it it's lasted for so much longer than 50 days it really has um but it's a tiny little bit down the bottom that's left um that was did i say two pound fifty um, the toilet roll over there, the Nikki one, uh, that was £3.29 and you've got nine rolls on there. And it says, enriched with lotion and fragrance, so that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, Andrex washlets, um, that, so that's the Andrex washlets, these, these were a pound each, so I've got four of those. Uh, we do still have some left upstairs. Um, if you buy the pack of four, they're five pounds. If you buy them individually, they're a pound each. So, you know, no brainer, right? So, yeah, pound each, so four pounds on those. These were a bargain at 90p. So, we've got three of the Colgate ones. Um, so, I'll probably have the pink. Well, I will have the pink. And I imagine Luke could go blue. And I imagine Chris would go whatever that colour is in the middle. <laughs> So 90p for those. 
uh, paracetamol as always two two boxes of those 34p each i've got some descaler for the kettle um that was one pound sixty i do generally use like white vinegar or lemon juice or mix the both together um but the last time I did it, I didn't really get a, a, a deep enough clean, I don't think. So, um, yeah, so I thought I'll go for this and uh, give that one a go. I've had it before. And actually, there are three sachets in there. So you've got three treatments to, you know, to be able to use it. The dishwasher cleaner. This is a really good price. They don't always have it, though. So this is the Cristal brand pink grapefruit um, pomegranate and that is 89p guys i think that's really good unlike the washing machine one which is by Dettol. so this was the only one i could find on their website was the Dettol one um this is the antibacterial one the other one wasn't but they were both Dettol, and that one was four pounds that one yeah four pounds some of the finished dishwasher tablets so you've got 61 in the in this pack um i do like the finished ones i particularly like the ones that are like like that like the little pods and not the tablets i find the tablets don't always dissolve properly um but they were 10 pounds so see what I mean, this week's been one of those. Um, kitchen roll, here we go. Kitchen roll was uh, 2 dollars each, expensive, but this is a really good kitchen roll. You only do need one sheet. You know, like, like the other brand says one sheet is plenty. Well, it is for this one as well. Um, so I got two of those, so that's five pounds. Um, Mr. Sheen leather wipes. For the sofas um they were two pound ninety so i've got a treatment to put on the what on the uh, sofas like to, you know to sort of help with all the scuff marks on the dogs etc um but i want to give it a nice clean first so i've got those uh linen temple sheets these are three pounds i got these more for like when you do a bit of dusting as well especially around your telly because it like helps with all the static and everything i do like to pop the old sheet or half a sheet in like drawers and stuff like that to keep your know, clothes smelling lovely and then of course if you do have to use your tumble dryer you've got them as well for that but they were three pounds and that's that first lot there we go so then I also ordered these, I only ordered a couple of bits from Frozen actually, um, so Cadbury's Crunchy Blast, I actually ordered four packs of these, there's four in a pack, um, but when the grandchildren come they really like to have them, and so they're here for anyone, anyone who wants them, especially Chris and Luke, they're, they're absolute favourites, and I'm partial to them as well. Um, these I know were four... Well, they were two for five pounds, so four for ten pounds. So I need to get these to the freezer. These were actually a substitute. I ordered the, I think they were like the Homestead ones or something, and they've substituted them for the straight cut ones. But that's that's okay. That's fine. Um, I do them in the air fryer anyway. So they need to now go to the freezer. Um, I'll confirm the price for those in a moment. The only other thing that's frozen is this bag of the Asda Petit Pois. I've got a kilogram here. Um, again, I'll confirm the price of that one in a minute, but these need to go to the freezer now. Right, so some of the fridge stuff then. Um, so I've got dairy stuff, like all the fridge stuff really here. So I've got two of the Actimals for the immune support. Um, because Chris and I take a lot of tablets, you know, for medical illnesses and stuff like that, they play havoc with your tummy, with your gut. So we have had them before and I think they did help before. So we thought we'd try them again. So two of those, um, they were three pound a pack. So that's how much they were we've got some butter the asda uh, salted butter there three packs of that they were 189 each um some stilton 
cheese, 2.25. Over the back here, some of the Bob milk, like the filtered milk. Um, this is always a good price. On its own, it's £2.30, but if you buy two together, it's £3.50. However, um, one of them was actually leaking. It had a hole in the bottom, so I have requested a refund for that one. Um, I'll show you in a minute anyway. These two platters were two ninety five each um, or five fifty for the two so I've got two so we've got the, um, the salami and cheese selection oh they were five pound I beg your pardon they were five pound for two and uh, the German style salami and cheese selection so that's like a smoked cheese there that's those two for when we have like picky bits which is actually going to be tonight um, bacon at the back. So two of the uh, smoked back bacon's. They were two for four pounds. Uh, pate. We got the smooth Brussels and the smooth Brussels with garlic. These were eighty pence each. Uh, two lots of ham. So the Bavarian ham. They were two for four pounds as well. Whether we have them in a sandwich or whatever, or hammock and chips or something, but it's a very, very nice ham. So I've got these olives. So these are the green olives with the chili. So they look delicious. So we'll be having those tonight with our like piggy bits dinner. Pack of pork pies. These were two pounds. So they are the uh, mini molten mulberry ones. That one's flipped upside down. Is it? I'm not sure. So that's the pork pies, the Chris absolutely adores. I, you know, I like them. But Chris lives for them, he loves them. Uh, two tins of corned beef here. Now, I know I've said it's for the fridge, but I do keep the corned beef in the fridge because I like it to be nice and like firm when you cut it. So whether I use that for a meal or if I'm doing a, um, a Caribbean style corned beef and rice, which I haven't done for a long time, so I might do that actually. Or whether I do it in a corned beef hash or we have it for lunches. But they were £2.30 a tin. Um, right, just popped over to this side of the kitchen to get the juices done as well. Um, so I've got two of the orange juices, two of the Tropicana's, uh, the smooth orange juice. Uh, that was five fifty for two of those. I think they're one point something. Uh, yeah, there you go, 1.35 litres there. And then I've got two of the Asda Cranberry and Raspberry juices. They were 1.15 each. So that's those juices they're taking care of. Hello, Mrs. The, uh, the veggies. So I've got some onions, these brown onions. They were a pound for three. Uh, broccoli. That was 69p. Uh, it was £1.60 for the Maris Piper potatoes for two and a half kilograms. Uh, they look okay, don't they? There are some biggish ones I could use for jackets if I wanted to. So yeah, £1.60 for those. Um, mushrooms were over here, £1.29 for 400 grams of mushrooms. These little um, sweet and fruity plum tomatoes which we'll have tonight with our like picky bits that was a pound which i thought was quite reasonable actually these other tomatoes here were one pound fifty for the sweet and balanced salad tomatoes and there's again 750 grams not bad cucumber was 69p the iceberg lettuce was 70p um, these peppers were 55p each, so I got them separately because I didn't really want any green pepper. Um, so that, they're all 55p each, so it goes some little to large, honestly. Like the tiniest little yellow pepper. Thank goodness I'm not doing stuffed peppers because you wouldn't be able to stuff much in that one, would you? <laughs> so they go a little to large. You've got like, you've got Chris, you're like me, you've got Luke. 
So I think that's all the veggie stuff done. Let's go to the pantry stuff then. Um, where shall I start? I'll start with the Ribena. So the Ribena was £2.75. So that's the no added sugar one. The olive oil was obviously, you'd expect that to be expensive. That was £10 for the uh, litre of the um, Filippio uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, the white pepper was 90 pence. This large jar of Branston was £2.90. It's a small chunk one. There's a lot in this one. What size is it? I haven't said that. Oh, 720. So, yeah, that's that Branston. Yes, yeah, £2.90. Uh, the Daddy's brown sauce was £2.50. There we go. This big Daddy's one, 685 grams. It was, uh, did I say two fifty. Yeah, £2.50 for that one. Uh, the porridge here, the Scots porridge oats, the original one was £2.75 because I've started to fancy porridge on cooler days and it won't be long and we'll be craving it, I know. So yeah, got some porridge. The piccalilli was £1.75. Yeah, £1.75 for the piccalilli. Uh, barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce was £2.50. Uh, the mayo was £3.75 for where's the size? 600 grams. So there you go, that's the mayo. I think that's everything on that little bit there done, isn't it? Right, so the coffee was five twenty-five. You've got five hundred grams there. We've been using this for a long time now. Um, whichever supermarket we go to now, we tend to buy this, like you know, these big jar, these big sort of containers, and they do taste. They taste good, and they taste the same regardless to whichever brand you pick up. To be honest, but that was uh, five twenty-five, which I thought. Is extremely good for 500 grams. Uh, so the Hovis white loaf here, the thick one is £1.40. And then we've got the granary one is one ninety five, And then we've got the seed sensation, which was £2, this one. So I did order sourdough bread, but it wasn't available. These rolls are the... The cheese and black pepper rolls. So the two packs of those. Uh, they were two pounds a pack. They're quite expensive, actually. Yes, that's four pounds for those two. So that was quite expensive. But I just thought, oh, I don't know. They're going to taste really nice, aren't they? So I went for it. But if they're not, I won't order them again. Do you know what I mean? Trial and error. Um, okay. Uh, so this wind down tea. This was two pounds. We are Luke and I are very much into our teas at the moment, especially Luke. Um, so you've actually got so they're called wind downs by um, Twinings. So you've got four sleep with spiced apple, four sleep with what does that say? Can't read it from this. Uh, Valerian and orange, four sweet dreams. Oh, I better have a sweet dream, at night. <laughs> Um, for calm and for unwind. So I thought they looked interesting, so we go for that. Um, as I say, they were they were two pounds. Then this is a substitution. I ordered the uh the Tetley's. Well, first of all, I ordered the Astor's green tea, but they were out of stock. I had an email to say they were out of stock. Um, so they ordered the, the Tetley ones and they've substituted it for the green tea, mango and passion fruit. So it, Luke drinks the green tea the most. So I sort of checked with him, you know, do you want me to keep it or do you want me to send that one back, hand that one back? And he said, no, we'll try that one. Um, so this one was £2.60 for this one. Um, these were a substitute. I did actually order the... Um, I've had, I had them the other week and they are delicious and I sort of tested them for you. I, we took a handful and <laughs> tried them. They were like the um, 
oh, the jalapeno and cheese coated ones, but they've substituted it for these. They didn't have them. These are £1.50, um, but they're the sensation ones and Thai sweet chilli. So give those a try rather than then sort of send them back, give them a go. Luke has a lot of honey in his drinks especially like his green teas that sort of thing he likes honey so don't tend to buy really expensive ones because it's just uh, sort of sweet and really um that's the last little bit we had i've just drained that off so he can use that cup because it's obviously should have some honey in it let's double check he can use this next drink yep it has so he can use that and then the other day guys i got this from amazon i will link it down below for you um if you're interested it's really cute it's not glass it's plastic um but it's just a little dispenser that you just unscrew this and then pop your honey inside and then when you lift it up like this so it doesn't leak okay but you press the handle this little bit here you press that and it comes out quite slowly so uh luke's think luke said that that's really good for him because it doesn't come out too fast he can control how much he has in his cup so i thought that was a really nice little thing it looks nice on the side and everything doesn't it so we will be decanting the honey into that um so this honey was £2.95 for this great big 908 gram, which was brilliant. Some strawberry jam, Chris requested, that was a pound. And then I thought we'd get this. This is really nice as well, very gingery. If you like ginger, you'd like this. This is one twenty five for the ginger preserve. Biscuits. Chocolate digestives, £1.89. I did order white chocolate because they're new, but they didn't have any, so they've substituted with that. But that's fine. Uh, the digestive biscuits are £1.80. The rich tea biscuits are 60p. And the ginger biscuits were 55p. So that's all of that lot done. And then, guys, yeah, I've started. It is approaching. It's... Coming into September now, or it will be September when you see this in a few days' time. Um, I've started to buy to put away for Christmas rather than it be that big hit, you know. I don't need too much this year, to be honest. We're going to um, one of the daughters for Christmas Day. We're going to another daughter's for Boxing Day. Um, and then everyone will come here for New Year's Eve. So I do need things just for nibbles. And I will get some meat, like, you know, probably a gammon and something else to have cold cuts. Um, and all the little bits to go with it. And then, of course, bits that we can have on a New Year. But I'm not doing picky bits this New Year. I'm doing something completely different. I'm going to do a great big pot of chilli with rice and with um french stick that sort of thing a big pot of cheese that's grated and i'm going to do a great big saucepan full of hot dogs and hot dog rolls and sauces and that for probably the kids so probably you know be more inclined to have that because the chili might be a bit spicy um and obviously i'll have the crisps and stuff that will go with it all you know so this is for christmas right so i've already shown you that we've got these to try now um obviously as i say i did order the other flavor and this was a substitute so it's the thai sweet chili one pound fifty they're going away for christmas these are new to us um the ones that i wanted were like this but with the jalapeno and cheese this is chili and lime so they will be saved for christmas so they can go out in little dishes baby beetroot and a crinkled cut beetroot there they're 710 grams um they were they were one pound 45 each again another branston small chunks um this one was two pound 90 obviously same as the other one a branston piccalilli i should say uh one pound 75 
and then I got this because I think this is just really nice, especially when you're having like, I don't know, I kind of like it if you're having cheeses and stuff like that, or even chocolate, stem ginger in syrup. So I just got one of those. And I actually cannot remember how much this was. Um, can't even see it written down. I'll have a look in a minute. And then finally for Christmas, I did get some dates. So £1.40 for these dates so they can go away for Christmas. Incidentally, the peas that I showed you earlier, £1.50 and the ice creams, I did tell you the price of those anyway. Oh, goodness me, I am so hot and sweaty. <laughs> Um, that, as uh, the stem ginger in the jar and the syrup is 125, so I've just looked it up, that's 125. Oh, also, I was going to show you the milk. Let's show you the milk now, shall we? Right, hold on, let's go over. Oh, I've got to put all this away. I hate that job, do you? Putting the shopping away. I've got it on here. I have already emailed them. Um, so if I squeeze it, there you go, like you can see, it's coming out there. Ugh, so annoying so i'm going to try and to decant that in we finished this one up today this morning um so this is the uh, cravendale one so this has only been finished this morning um so i'm going to give that a really good wash out and then i'll decant it into there into that one so rather than waste it but i have requested a refund anyway ted you waiting for a treat? I didn't get any dog treats, did I? No, I didn't, because we've still got enough. You don't need them. But I will give you one in a minute, okay? Right then, I am going to end the video here. If shopping hauls, like grocery shopping hauls, are your thing and you really like them, uh, you're interested in what other people buy and uh, maybe what they have for their meals, I am. I love a good old grocery haul. Sometimes they give me really good ideas. You know, I think, oh, I've never tried that before. Or they kind of remind me, yeah, I need to get that. I need to write that down. Because, guys, you know what I've done? I still have not got any flour. I totally forgot to get the flour. But I'm not really planning on baking anything right yet. So I just have to get it when I need it. But, yeah, it is a fairly expensive shop this time. But, as I say, a lot of it I won't need to get now for about a month. Like the olive oil, um, certainly dishwasher stuff, laundry stuff. I'm just looking around, something like the pickles and things, ketchups, all of that will all last for a while. I've still got stuff left in the freezers that I can, you know, make turn into meals or I have got meat in there for meals. So it was just, it was just one of those things, one of those kind of fortnights where I had to think, well, you know, let's just do it. And, you know, with my health at the moment, getting out to the shops isn't always... A possibility sometimes I can manage it and other times I really really cannot and so I do a delivery um, but what I do with Asta actually is I pay $6.99 a month and then all my deliveries are free and you can pay more than that for a delivery just one delivery depending on like when you have it but that's what I do now and also a lot of what you buy goes into like your little cash pot um, so it's like a little savings thing and you can save it up you have to spend it i think it's got like a date of six months um but like if you start now then that start to build up i think i've got maybe 11 pound or something in mine now um and i'm just gonna leave it there for when i do like a christmas shop and then whatever i've accumulated then that go come off of my shop you know so yeah swings and roundabouts i hope you've enjoyed watching this if you have please give this video a thumbs up it goes so far in helping out my channel and if you haven't subscribed i'd love you to subscribe to my channel let me know if you've started doing that you know shopping for christmas sometimes you just have to get bits here and there don't you and i thought it's time to start now I haven't started with any presents yet but i thought just start you know um, so yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you, give my dogs a treat because they always think that every time there's a shopping delivery, they're going to get a treat. So obviously I didn't buy any this time, didn't need them, but I will get one out the cupboard for them for being good. Uh, talk to you later. Stay safe, everyone. Take care of yourselves and lots of love. Bye-bye. Bye. Sit.
Good girl. Good boy.